Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this video we have another very interesting question from radical equations and here we are going to solve for integer solutions. So let's get started with our straight away substitution. I will call 5 plus x equal to a square and I will consider 5 minus x b square. So I can write here 5 plus x equal to a square 5 minus x equal to b square. Once I will add both the equations, I can get 10 equal to a square plus b square. Now I will check our original equation. So here I can write the square root of a square whole cube plus a square root of b square whole cube equal to 28. The square root and the square will be over. So I can write a cube plus b cube equal to 28. Let us say equation 1 and 2. Now I will assume a plus b equal to m and a times b equal to n. Let's expand a plus b whole square. So I can write a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now a plus b whole square is m square equal to a square plus b square from equation 1 it is 10 plus 2 times ab is n. So from this equation I can write n will be equal to m square minus 10 over 2. Now I will use another expansion a plus b whole cube. This is nothing but a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. So let us write a plus b equal to m. So this will become m cube. a cube plus b cube. It is 28 as per equation 2. Plus 3 times ab was n. a plus b was m. So I can write m cube equal to 28 plus 3 m n. Now our n was m square minus 10 over 2. Let us apply this value of n here. So I can write m cube equal to 28 plus 3 times m times m square minus 10 over 2. Multiply this equation by 2. So 2m cube equal to 56 plus 3 times m cube minus 30m. Or I can write m cube minus 30m plus 56 equal to 0. This is our cubic equation. And let's solve using factorization method, rational root theorem method. So I will write our equation once m cube minus 30m plus 56 equal to 0. Now I will find the eligible factors of 56. So it will be plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 7, plus minus 8 and so on. And leading coefficient it is plus minus 1 only. If I will plug in m equal to 2, will it satisfy? So 2 cube is 8 minus 60 plus 56. No, it won't. Let us apply m equal to 4. So I will be writing here 64 minus 120 plus 56. Is this true? Yes. 64 plus 56 is 120. So m equal to 4 
is our base solution. So I can write m minus 4 is one factor of cubic equation. Now I can find out the remaining two factors using remainder theorem. So I will be writing our cubic equation here m cube minus 30m plus 56 equal to 0 and m minus 4 is one factor. So I will be writing our leading term m cube as m square times the factor. Now minus 4 m square is extra so I have to compensate it. I will write plus 4 m square minus 30 m plus 56 equal to 0. Further I can write m square m minus 4 and here I will be writing 4 m and then our factor m minus 4. Now the extra is negative 16m. I have to compensate. I will write plus 16m minus 30m plus 56 equal to 0. So m square m minus 4 plus 4m m minus 4 and then minus 14m plus 56 equal to 0 m square m minus 4 plus 4 m m minus 4 minus 14 m minus 4 equal to 0. So our factorization is done m minus 4 times m square plus 4 m minus 14 equal to 0. Let me write m minus 4 will be equal to 0 or m square plus 4m minus 14 equal to 0. So from first equation m will be equal to 4. Now m was a plus b and n was this value was m square minus 10 over 2. So I will apply m equal to 4. So I can write 4 e square minus 10 over 2 which will become 16 minus 10 over 2. So value will be 6 over 2 3 and n was a b. So a b equal to 3 a plus b equal to 4. Now I can write here one system a plus b 4 a b equal to 3. Now let's talk about second quadratic equation. Let us apply quadratic formula minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 a c plus 56 over 2 a so 2 minus 4 plus minus this is 72 so 36 times 2 I can write 6 root 2 over 2 so I can write minus 2 plus minus 3 is square root 2 roots are irrational so we can reject this quadratic equation and solutions now we have to solve this system a plus b4 a b3. So a plus b equal to 4 with a b equal to 3. Now I can think about one quadratic equation whose roots are a and b. Then this is sum of roots. This is product of roots. Let us write that quadratic equation in a itself. a square minus sum of roots. It is 4 here times a plus product of roots. It is 3 equal to 0. Now I can apply factorization method. So we can write a square minus minus 4a. We can write minus a minus 3a plus 3 equal to 0. 
now a is common a minus 1 minus 3 is common a minus 1 equal to 0 so a minus 1 times a minus 3 equal to 0 conclusion will be a equal to 1 a equal to 3 now what was a a was our substitution what was a value it is 5 plus x let me write here this was a square so i can write a equal to 1 and 3 a square will be 1 and 9 so i will write 5 plus x will be 1 and 9 take away 5 from both sides x will become 1 minus 5 minus 4 9 minus 5 4 so we have two integer and real solutions negative 4 and 4 let us cross examine so i will write verification x equal to negative 4 so i will write lhs square root of 5 minus 4 whole cube plus square root of 5 minus of minus plus 4 whole cube so this will become root 1 whole cube plus root 9 whole cube so this is square root 1 is 1 square root 9 is 3 so value will be 1 plus 27 which is 28 our rhs hence negative 4 is verified solution now x is equal to positive 4 square root of 5 plus 4 whole cube plus square root of 5 minus 4 whole cube so this will become 9 this time and here we will write square root 1 whole cube so 3 cube plus 1 cube so it will become 27 plus 1 28 which is our rhs hence 4 is also verified solution i hope friends you will like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself goodbye